Number 60, assumptive tie downs are tremendous. Once you get your tie downs good, down good, then we start moving into assumptive tie downs. Assumptive tie downs very simply is any assumptive statement and then put a question at, at the end of it. Like, I'll bet you'd enjoy that, wouldn't you? That's an assumptive tie down. It's a leading question, if you will. It's an assumptive tie down. Sounds better all the time, doesn't it? That's an assumptive tie down. Let's explore further assumptive tie downs and why they're so critically important to build that yes momentum during our phone calls and during our presentations. Here's some alternates for you. You can't beat that with a stick, can you? That's pretty neat, isn't it? That would certainly save you a lot of money, wouldn't it? I'll bet that would make your job a lot easier, wouldn't it? You can't be mad at me for that, can you? I'll bet you'd like that, wouldn't you? That point alone makes our program a bargain, doesn't it? The combination of words is virtually unlimited, so work with the ones that you feel most comfortable with. It builds that yes momentum. An interesting variation of this technique is to use negative tie-downs. Now granted, this is an advanced form of selling, but many top producers will use negative tie-downs, particularly with a negative prospect or customer. You might say, of course, you probably wouldn't be interested in that, would you? At this point, your negative prospect or customer will start giving you the positives, in other words, start telling you why they really do want your product or service. It virtually reverses the selling process. And now, here's an assignment for you. Write out three different assumptive tie-downs or negative tie-downs and how you will use them throughout your presentation to make it more effective for you. In wrapping up, another word of warning. Please don't let other negative people talk you out of a proven skill, technique, or idea. Be willing to work with it, experiment with it, and then try variations of it. In other words, be willing to learn something new each day to improve over yesterday.